Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Rebuilding Roma. This is part 3, don't know how many series we'll get through. start off, we've got a big game against Porto. This is to decide who comes top of Group F in our Champions League group. This is a big game as a win could may well mean that we do not have to face the likes of Barca or Real in the knockout stages. This team, I'm going to play Rudiger at right back on this occasion with the Marlin filling in at centre-back. El Shura is going to take a rest as I want to play the full team, Salah and Cleet Hansen getting into the squad. Streetman's going to have to go into the reserves as he is now injured as well. Edin Dzeko is back, which is a promising one. I'm going to play him over Belotti as Belotti is younger and has less experience. Other than that, let's get into the first game. Final game of the Champions League group stage. Let's get into the match. Last time we played these guys, away from home, it was a 1-0 defeat after our only 5-0 hammering. Um, I was distracted by the lag, but wow. Um, wasn't expecting that. Good start. Mohamed Salah bangs one straight in from the kickoff. That was just a bit of a sighter. Apologies, I feel like it's a bit laggy at the moment. This may be due to the fact that I've been downloading new software and people are not quite ready for it yet. But please bear with. This puts us in good stead for the rest of the game. Don't let the cross go in. That's rule number one. Did for Alison. And a simple catch as much as anything is simple in this game. Rajan Anglin, Daniela De Rossi, Lee Hansen chips it up to Rudy. Oh, Jekko's going to get... It's two! The lag is awful today, but this is 2-0. The Champions League group is ours, but as a gen as generally, he's been pretty good. Lag spikes is awful today, though. What we'll do is this is a transfer window. We'll try and minimalise gaming because of uh, actual gameplay because of that, and try and focus on the transfers. We need to get this one out of the way with a big win, though. Head it out. There we go. Mohamed Salah. Rudy. Bigger role in the squad now that now to the loss of the streetman. Ch chips it up, Lee Anderson. Lee Anderson down the wing. Go for one. It's three nil. This Roma team is smashing them. Get in. I think in the transfer window we're going to buy another centre-back. I think Socrates could be a possibility. I don't know who else. Maybe that's not Dante. If there's a Marquinhos, he's good. Link up with Bruno Perez. Or maybe a German, maybe Tar. Actually, Tar's a good shot. I think I'm going to look, look at Tar. Allison has us covered. Also, another central midfielder could be in order if Stroop has Stroop gone for four months. Possibly a loan deal, I think. Maybe maybe an older player like Pirlo could come in for just six months or so. Could work. He's definitely still got it. Magician. That's the goalkeeper's ball from the corner. Hey, Daniele De Rossi. Luke Hansen cuts it back. Salah slides. Rudiger. Carson Mitt. Dirty, dirty. Quick play, though. It's a waste. Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's up and down. Ed and Jekyll gets up for the shot. The goalkeeper's made a save. Salah, young German. Our squad starting to become quite German based now. I mean, we've got Rudy, we've got uh, Rudiger, and I'm thinking Tar could be our next signing. Tar and maybe Bastian Schweinsteiger on loan could be a good idea. Here's Antonio Rudiger, Eddie Short passes. on the run. Goes for one. Okay, ten minutes ago. Let's make some substitutions. 
De Rossi can come off, Paredes can come on, Grenier can come off and Rudy can come on. Grenier can come on even, and Belotti, the young Italian, can come on for a bit of gameplay at the end. Hopefully, grab a four. Skill moves. He sees the man open on the edge of the box. What was that? Nice bit of interplay between these two. Oliver Torres. Nine goals one in a good place. Belotti's energised as hell. Nine got big miss. I'm not really just throwing it up, but can't be missing those chances in an average game. Early in this football match. Hopefully, actually, hopefully next week the demo comes out and we're going to do something with being boozy uh, to start off the new FIFA. But it's 4 0 for now. Mohamed Salah scores at, the beginning, scores at the beginning, scores at the end. You can't hold him. Our attack may not always be on point, but our defence is a domination. Trying to get one back at the end, it's not going to happen. 4-0, the final score. Most of the goals in the first half. A little bit of the end with Salah. Just a general great game. Right, oh, I should have looked at the, um, the fixtures because we've now got a big clash again. Uh, oh, okay. A big clash again against AC Milan. We played the other end of club earlier in the year. I think it was a 0-0 draw if I remember correctly. But that should put us top of the Champions League groups. Um, okay, we also have the uh, games have come up. Can't actually see who's in that bottom right, so if that's us, I'm apologies. No, we're, we've got Basel. That's a good fixture. Who could it be who's in that bottom right that we'd miss? Who knows? Okay, but anyway, other big fixture. Real Madrid against Leicester. Leicester managed to get through the group. Bayern Napoli. Decent size game. Uh, Barca Spurs and the Copa Nacional we we get automatically put into the last 16 that's pretty good along with Inter, Napoli, Sassoulu, Mil both Milan teams, Lazio, Fiore Fiorentina and Juve anyway let's sort out the team for this big game against Inter AC even ok we're going to rest Salah I think El Shiro and a few pounds in a good play other than that um, but Marlon's going to stay in the team. Perez is going to come in. Allison's been stay a mainstay in this team since Chesney got injured at the beginning. Not great for him. He may want to leave by the end of the year. Uh, Roman Milan, still a bit laggy, but let's get into the game. Only 14, 10 goals conceded in 14 games. That is a very good record, actually. I think Manolas and Allison are at the heart of that. And Rui as well. Florenzi, not so much. I think he's been the reason. It's not Pen. Oh, I thought, I honestly thought we were going to on that one. I, thought, I would have 100% given straight up Pen. But we've carried on. Bellotti. With the Rossi. Lost the ball. No one seems to be able to get a solid attack together, but Milan are having the better chances so far. Swinging balls in left, right, and centre. Rui to De Rossi. Tiki Taka. So we're going to go defence for this one. We've been dominating a lot of goals with our, games with our goals, so if we can defend this one, we might be able to get a victory. Yes, they are. Oh no, it's not going well. They are one nil up. It's an out of the box banger from Bonaventura. We considered signing him. Maybe we should have done. Again, I apologise for the awful lag today. It's very bad. Hopefully next time it will be a bit better. Come on. 
think the side goal. We can't even get near it. It's Rui and Salah linking up. Swings it in for Belotti. Belotti gets his head on it. Yeah, it was Belotti. The number 10. The young Italian. One. Oh. Can we make it 2-1? Before half time, maybe? Has only seven minutes left to play, but maybe. Bruno Perez, the attacking fullback. Rudy plays Rui open. Back. Chips it up. Deep Anderson. Two. Two one. Banger. Top. Bin. That's how we like it. Fitness is looking all right. They're all looking a little bit tired. So I'm going to bring on Paredes for the Rossi as he's been playing a lot of games recently. Bit lucky, but it's a corner. Here we go. Swing in. Get your head on it. Uh, that was unnecessary. Carlos back for a strong attack and been downgraded for FIFA 18. Probably deserves. He didn't do that much in the Serie A this year. No! That took me a moment to realise what would happen, but no! Off the post. El Shirawe. He's on the run. He jumps one. Oh, he can't get through them all. A lot he plays at Alwo. Raja. Raja is always at the heart of things. Uh, that was a waste of time. Come on. Fight for that ball. No. One of you put in a tackle. I thought we were goners there. I thought that was too old. Chips it up. Okay, Belotti. Head it on to El Shirawe. El Shirawe takes a touch. Keep the pressure on. There we go. Substitutions before the end. Belotti can switch with Jekko again. And let's bring on Grenier for Rudy. Nine Gullen isn't ever present in this side. Salah. Not oh, Salah. Philippe Anderson. Run at them. It's been a revelation of a signing. I thought I may have paid over the odds. Or was it 25 million for him? But he has proved out to be a bar I mean, not a bargain, but a great deal. Perez is in on the wing, though. Swings it. That was shocking. Okay. That is the end of the game. A 2-1 victory. Exactly what we're needing to keep the pressure on Napoli to try and win the league. Final game of this episode. After this, it's going to be mostly transfers. Let's have a look at this Juventus side. A couple of new signings, if I'm correct. Yep, we've got Higuain, um, and... Okay, yeah, Pjanic is in the team. A couple of mainstays, though. Quadro Asamoa, Buffon, Benucci, Marquisio. Mainstays for years. Benash is interested in playing ahead of Chiellini and Barzagli, but we won't comment on that. I think their weakness is probably in their fullback. Not so much Alexandro, but if um, Philippe Anson can do damage to Lichstein, because I've never really rated him. This is Florenzi's last chance to make an impression. Done okay to start off with. He's definitely put it up to fight to try and stay at this club. But I think we're going to sell him. Because if we do, we'll get a handy profit. Mohamed Salah shoots from long range. Can't get it out from underneath our feet. If this Steiner kind of scores, that's really awkward. Higuain at this club now. Uh, near the uh, hyperlink with Dybala, lovely, £80 million pound signing last year, not cheap. Manolas slides in. Not good. Allison consistent as always. 
Oh, they have played it short. Uh, I think they're going to play it out wide. No, they haven't. They get a shot off, but it's nothing of any significance. A weak shot from long range. Never going to trouble our main man, Allison. Not that our attacks are doing much then. There we go, top of the league. Two points down on Juve. However, a victory for them today would put them ahead of us. So it's all to play for. I think the three teams at the top you're seeing now, Juve, Inter, uh, not Juve, Juve, Napoli and Roma, are going to be the three that will make the Champions League. Whoever, I don't think not either the Milan sides or Lazio will put up too much of a fight. But when it comes to who's going to finish top, I think it's anybody's game. You, you may have the track record of winning in the past, but they're at the moment in third and haven't actually been on top of the league at any point this season. Higuain, the big Argentinian. Great tackle from Rudiger. Swing it in. Get it away. Lovely jubbly. I sound like an old person saying that. He's being a baby. Get it out. Okay, counter attack. Counter is on. Belotti. Nangolin. Nangolin. Nangolin's through. Oh, Gigi Buffon. Against men, most keepers, that would have gone straight in the back of the net. But against Gigi, it's a whole other matter. Okay. Take two. Swing it in again. Mohamed Salah. At the back post. Can't knock down the door. But the possession hasn't paid dividends yet. I say yet. Quadrado, who's supposedly injured. Allison talks him to a halt though. Let them pass it short. Let them pass it short. What are you going to do now? Swing it in. There we go. Someone else get on that. Raja. Someone. I keep thinking we're goners. But as long as Bonucci keeps shooting, I think we're all good. Okay, Florenzi. Awful on the attack, but brilliant. Awful on the defence, but brilliant on the attack. He's passed his man. Swings the ball in. Belotti. What? That's what we like. Buffon is proving unbeatable. And if we concede, that's the lead, the lead in this league at the moment is gone. Coming up to the halfway stage. Don't want to be playing Juve at the end of the season. Then. One nil, Paolo Dybala, the insane young Argentinian. I've loved playing with him this year on FIFA. But he has messed us up. We need some authority now. Ed and Dzeko can come on. Felipe Anderson can come on. Rudiger's going to... No, Rud Florenzi's going to move. He's coming off the pitch. Perez is coming on. And let's bring on Grenier for Rudy, the young Frenchman. Oh, we're out of substitutions. We'll keep Florenzi on then and bring on Grenier for Rudy. It badly kind of be a generous way. Put it. The Gwain's coming off. The real Sammy Kadira for Chanic. Hopefully we've booed him off the pitch. And Keane. Probably a youth player. We're so lucky. We're so lucky. I mean, Gwain's off the pitch, but Dybala is coming at us. Full cylinders. We've just gone for route one. It's Ed and Jekko. Lump the ball up there and he will do something with it. Mohamed Salah. So, a couple of skill moves. Buffon is impossible to beat. I want to cry. Grenier. He's playing okay, Grenier. I mean, he's only made a couple of sub appearances. But, but in that time, he's proved that he's, he's, not, he's not the best player, but he's proved he's a decent little bar. He could be a good one for the beginning of the FIFA 18. So I'm making a possibly a Calcio A Bundesliga hybrid for my starter score. Maybe Grenier in there, Gilavogu. 
I don't know who else. Chikorito's no longer in the Blizzard. Who's the way to good guy? Maybe Khan. It's pretty fast. Maybe uh, Leap Anderson for that matter. He's proved his worth so far this year at um, Roma. Don't let them make it a second. Sliding in all over places if we've gone one more down. We just got the ball. Last chance to loon. Come on. We're always relying on this right hand side. Let's rely on the left hand side. We are. Rui. Rui's lost it. It's a defeat. A big defeat puts us second in the league, possibly third if Napoli win. Not good. We are not performing well against the top teams. Okay, that's good. A lot of the teams, I think, I saw AC Milan failed to get a victory. Sasulu have come up to third. Bit of a shock one, but fair play. Okay, you there now top of the league. We do have a game in hand as the Inter, which could bring them into the mix. Bottom of the league, it's still Pescara, Crotone and Empoli. Okay, so no more big games this episode, so all I can say to that is cue the montage.
Okay, so, just to sum up everything that's happened during this transfer window, Manolas went in a shock 55 million deal to Barcelona, just threw that out as a joke, but they accepted it. We then went and banged out Marquinhos and Agbona, Agbona just at the end, as you may have just seen, to bring us another solid defence. Florenzi has also left with Rudiger, who's going to be filling in at that right-back spot now. With Strootman out injured, we have also signed, we've got Renato Sanchez on loan, and with 15 mil a 15 million deal, if we like him at the end of the summer. I've just finished off the transfer window. Let's have a look at the table and then that will be it for today. Monthly score report and deadline days ended. So next episode we'll be playing Fiorentina as our first game. The Marlins asking if he can play, probably not. Let's have a look at the table. Inter Milan have climbed during this Christmas period up to first. There's actually a game in hand on both us. That's interesting. All the top three teams, all 42 points, all won 18 goal difference. This is going to be a tight league season. Juve, Sassulu and Sampdoria all not out. But I'd say Milan are probably starting to lag behind. And so Sampdoria have played more games, two more than, who is it, than Inter actually. Other than that, I think a couple of big games hopefully next month. Let's have a look at the schedule. Yeah, a big one against Basel and another against Inter. Another and Napoli. We've also we're also gonna have our first international break next episode with games against Netherlands and Bulgaria. Until then, I will see you guys next time. Peace! Peace.